All right, so that's what I got going on. Got my AirDog 2 filter mounting bracket off. Had to modify the filter bracket, you know, shave off the corners and trim it down a little bit. Uh, been filing it a little bit just to smooth it up a little more. But so I can fit the better fuel filter on. It's a Cat 1 Romeo 0751. It's a true 2 micron fuel filtration. It's not, it's, uh, oh, I forget the, the terminology. It's not nominal, it's a true 2 micron. Whereas the uh, the AirDog 2 filter that comes with is a nominal 2, two micron filter, which means it's letting by stuff that's a lot, uh, a lot bigger particles than that, which is something I don't want to do. And uh, bring you over here also, just do a quick, I guess, unboxing. I've opened it, but I haven't like pulled everything out of everything. Let's get some light on. All right. Some light. No more if we can. Okay, so what I've got here is... All right, so we're going to do a quick unboxing of the... <coughs> Injectors and feed tubes and my uh, hardened push rods. So, yeah, this project's been a while coming along. Uh, well, a while coming, just haven't had the, uh, the push to get it done. So, due to diesel performance, uh, package got here. It was basically next to shipping for me. You know, it's UPS ground because they're down in Clackamas, Oregon, and I'm up in, in uh, Washington. So, there's this standard Geely Mahiggy, whatever you want to call it. It's basically the uh, liability thing saying, you know, if you open this up, then you're going to be, you have to use the product. And if you choose not to use the product, then you'll be charged a $450 return charge. And also that uh, it's for off-road use only. I'm going to be using them so I don't care. I already kind of removed that. I haven't opened this yet. So, grab our handy dandy X-Acto knife. But first, before we get into the good stuff, big bang injections. My nice hardened, nice hardened fish rods. So when you're doing the push rods, I believe there's some of them that are a little bit longer than the others. I can't remember. I have to look it up again and make sure they might all be the exact same length. But uh, yeah, there's my extreme diesel performance hardening push rods that I've had for a while sitting on the shelf. But there you go. There's the uh, focus thing. Let's see, there you go. Part number X-ray Delta 205. it doesn't want to work there you go x-ray delta 205 24 valve cummings so nice hard push rods ready to go in when I do this and then I've got my Bosch, new Bosch feed tubes for the uh, 6.7 rams six brand new Bosch ones from Big Bang Injection also and then, here's the good stuff that some of you might be here for, most of you are here for, if you're watching this video. So, I'm gonna break the seal, oh, there it goes, 450 bucks, I don't use it. And, oh, one more. It's not the easiest thing to do, one-handed. It's a brand new exacto blade too, so I don't want to cut my fingers off. Injection, nice stickers. Probably put them on the trailer. I don't like decorating my truck with a whole bunch of stickers. Core return information, disclaimers. Let's see. This looks like 
all six of my injectors. So I was just showing like how uh, the flow test flow matched. So they're all pretty close to each other. Nice. That's a nice thing. Nice little piece of literature to get with your with your purchase. So you know that they've actually been flow matched and tested. Uh, let's see, and there they are. There's the new injectors. Chuck is still got to get, it's going to be done this weekend. But uh, I got the new um, heater grid gla gaskets also because you got to remove the intake elbow when you're doing this. But ooh, don't do that. There we go. There's the new injectors. They are nice and shiny. Take a look at the tip real quick. Just gotta be careful, I don't want to damage it. So, well, you're not gonna see it on the camera, but I can see the little spray nozzle holes, and it looks good so far. All right, well, I'm excited. Excited to get in. There's the uh, the truck right there, and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so we got there we go progress report or update, whatever you want to call it. So I'm installing the uh, Cat One R zero seven five one filter fuel filter. So for those of you who don't know, in order to do it, you need to trim down the inner tab here and there because the filter won't quite fit. And then there's two little tabs here. These little guys, they're just, I guess, spacers for the stock filter that they use. You just remove those. And I believe, it's kind of worn off on my tool, but I believe it's a 764 Allen key. It is standard, it's not metric. <coughs> Pardon me. I got the Corona. Anyways, sorry. Um, I don't really. The uh, yeah, you just take that off, and then the fuel filter should spin right on. So just make sure you clean up your mating surfaces all nice and clean, and make sure you lubricate that that new gasket so we don't get dry rod, and you get a nice good seal, and then you're good to go. All right, there we go. New filters on. Cat One Romeo zero seven five one. It's all in there nice, clean and tight, flush. I'm trying to do this to get this angle from down below. But there you go. You can see if you don't uh, trim those corners, it will not fit. I trimmed them on both sides just to give me more, a little more wiggle room to get stuff worked around. But uh, I have the Air Dog. 165 or air dog 2 4g 165 and uh in case anybody you're wondering this fuel filter does have the flow rating to be able to keep up with a filter and provide proper filtration it's not going to get a lot of stuff blowing by it or anything you're still going to get that that uh that f proper two micron filter uh, filtration instead of the nominal so it's a true two micron filter versus the air dogs regular too and just a reminder for you guys if you don't do it every so often drain it some people drain it every time they go to the pump i don't i honestly i don't remember to drain it all the time but every time i drain it it's i've yet to see any water it might be because i've heard that these are not very good air water separators or sorry water fuel separators i don't know maybe they are maybe they aren't uh, time will tell if I find something better then I'll, I'm gonna put that on there But for now it works and uh, now it's time to do a quick test start of The truck oh, Make sure it's not leaking if it is then We'll go from there so, Pretty uh, Right here, so you guys can hopefully hear it as it starts up, just so you can see how loud it is.
being a prime. amount of white smoke out of the back just a little bit so good thing we got the injectors oh, it's blue so uh, yeah that's good news I'm glad I got the injectors because that's very much needed you can kind of see the blue haze from the unburned fuel Yep, the injector. Gotta get them right in there on the table. 